Okay, hopefully this lighting doesn't suck too bad. Okay, so here we have our Schaefer vac fill, all the little parts and pieces. And these little guys here, we have two of these used to be on the safe side, I do believe. These little guys here are the uh, replacement cartridge bits for this guy, for the guts to this vac fill. They're going to go on this, and I'm going to figure out how to stick them in there right now, I guess. Um. Introduction of extraction tool. So, and I have the kebab stick to shove this up into the pin, which I suppose I'm going to do right now. Let's see, existing rod packing assembly, additional fountain bell cartridge. I got this from Fountain Bell. You can uh, look up Fountain Bell on the internet. Okay, well here's those thingies. Here are these thingies. This is the off the tip of the rod uh, plunger and point bit. This gasket goes between this and this like a little hamburger. And this yellow thing is supposed to just real easy just come right off. But I'm not having luck with it so I'm gonna go get some gripper tools. Okay, gripper tool. Pliers, wooden thing, pin thing, you know, doot doot. And then I put the, the metal metal rod in there so that it, the wood conforms to the metal and doesn't scratch it or turn anything up. And then this thing, not really easy. There we go. Boop. Boop. So let's see if there is a, holy crap. The whole guts come out of that. Shoot. Um, okay, obviously I don't have a clue what I'm doing, but I'm going to figure it out. Oops. Um. Just stick this like this. Ah, there we go. All the way in. What I need to do now is put these little doodads back on. And they just thread on real simple easy peasy all right you do it the right way that is there's that little rubber gasket thing and then our friend the point now the instructions from fountain bell don't say anything about gluing it in they just say shove it in as far as I can tell, that's all I have to do, so I did it. There's this. I don't know how tight that should be. Probably sort of tight. Okay, so there's this, and then I got my new packing, bushing, gasket thing in there. Oh, goodness. Now I've got a field of fun, this stinking hole. Man. There we go. Carefully with our little piece of thing to push. There we are. Oh, look at that. Plop. Suction. Oh, that's stiff. Oh, well, I suppose I knew it would be stiff, huh? Okay, so there's that. And now I need to put this thing back on. Make sure we put it back the right way. So it's two little notches. Probably not. It's a crappy crappy film. There's the notches that you can't see. Those have to be facing the pin body so that you can turn it with the tool. I use tweezers because tweezers work. I wouldn't I want to use tweezers. Tweezers are great for everything. 
Oh my goodness, what am I doing? I'm sure the professionals are out there going, Oh my God, you're you're going to kill your... Eh, whatever. You know what? I spent 25 bucks on it. It's mine. I'll do whatever I want to do with it. Put this back on it. Because for some reason I don't have a grip again. Of course I don't have a grip again. Why would I have a grip? And just tighten that little bugger down. Okay, now... This needs to go back in here. And the lint. I'm awful about dirt and lint. Okay, let's see. I need to just get it started, I figure. Let's see. There we go. Well, that was easy. Alright, and then tweezers. I thought I had some cheap. Here they are. Cheap tweezers. Cheap because you don't want to ruin the ruin your uh, tweezer tips. Expensive tweezers are um well they're expensive. Just turn this to get it nice and tight. It wasn't super tight when it was in there, it was just in there. Okay. I guess that's far enough. I don't know how far it's supposed to be. There you go. Ha, ah, listen to that. In and out, in and out. Well, that's awesome. Nice and tight. That was easy. Let's see, it looks like the little cartridge thing is staying in place like it's supposed to. I don't have any kind of sealing goop to seal my thread, so I'm just going to slap a little bit, tiny bit of silicone grease on there. Okay, just a tiny bit. That's probably too much. Who cares? Okay, I'm nervous about this not working because if it doesn't work, it doesn't work in front of the whole wide world. So, what am I going to fill it with? I'm going to fill it with... Okay, so you open it. I think you pull it back. And as it is a vac fill. It uses vacuum when that little o-ring thing does its thing. So I'm going to stick it in there. I don't care that they get ink on it. Pinch it tight and slam it. And count to 10. Hell, I don't know. I've never done this before. I'm going to leave it in there and then I'm going to close it. And look at all the ink. That's disgusting. I don't know. It's it's between here and here. That's not too bad. I can live with that. As often as I'm going to use this thing anyways. I might want to put turquoise in it tomorrow. Who knows? And if I draw a bunch with it, I'll go ahead and tighten this thing back up. And then hey, it works. Oh my god. Of course it works. Why wouldn't it work? Let's see. Hopefully I don't get any leakage right here from just using silicon grease, but I probably will. And if I do, you know what, I'll take it apart and I'll fish it around. I'll do something else with it.